What's going on you guys? Welcome back to channel Anderson and welcome to part two of the water pump job on the C36 AMG. Last video, if you guys watched it, we left off on the water pump being removed, which is still sitting here as uh, we left it. So I have to right now first go ahead and get this surface cleaned up down here for the mating on the water pump. I got to transfer all the uh, little pieces and bits and bobs thermostat onto the new housing and also have to transfer the pulley as well. Also got a bunch of this stuff left over from our intake manifold reseals on the C55 and the M155, but uh, yeah, this is what we'll be using for a gasket surface. Permatex does make, and I'm sure others do make, a specific like water pump with a high, you know, water glycol resistant, whatever, but this stuff is still supposed to be okay for uh, water pumps as well. So we're going to use this, basically going to seal the, where are they, O-rings. Uh, with a little bit of this RTV and kind of the grooves where they sit and then I'm also going to Silicone this whole kind of area right here uh, Just to kind of keep it safe. So the other two top two. I don't really think I need to maybe I will just for good measure uh, the one bolt that did come out uh, with Oil on it was at the top left. I don't think you're supposed to use any like uh, thread sealants or anything like that None of them look like they were leaking from the actual bolt hole, so I think we should be okay. All right, guys, a little bit of catching up to do uh, so far. What's up? No, I'm talking to the camera. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. Exposed. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so far, we got this uh, mating surface pretty cleaned up and just popped off the uh, pulley bolts for the water pump. I used the new belt that I had um, that I don't think is the right size anyways uh, to basically just kind of hold it still stomped on it with my foot held it with the other hand and used the breaker bar to crack the three bolts on there they are 13 millimeters um, so yeah I just want to document that real quick but been kind of cleaning everything up getting it all sorted I got the thermostat housing off that is here got the uh, temp sensors there I don't have new aluminum washers, so I'm going to check if I can see something in my stash. It might be similar size. Otherwise, they're not that bad. I can probably reuse them. Um, what else? Oh, thermostat looks good. However, I don't think they supplied a... Well, maybe this is the gasket for it, but it's kind of weird. It's supposed to be a square cut gasket, not a round one. So I may just end up reusing this with some RTV. It's still plenty pliable not like super squished or anything so I might just end up but for now just wanted to document a little bit before we uh, get any further so I'm gonna transfer all this stuff over get everything prepped and RTV'd and get that new thing in there all right guys water pump pulley is off uh, my method worked pretty good use a little bit WD-40 it was pretty uh, corroded on there so wiggle it off little by little using the screwdriver to kind of pry it up here and there and it is sitting there got it all cleaned off and ready to go I think we're whittling away. I think we're almost ready to gasket that thing up and set it in here. My plan is basically going to be to set it in there, get the bolts all tightened properly, and then leave it to sit overnight. Um, and then I can come back tomorrow and put on the pulley. That way, when you know I'm torquing it uh, or you know tightening down the pulley, it's not wanting to move the water pump or you know move around any of the silicone that might have still been setting if I did it right away. So I don't know. Maybe that's a good theory of logic. Maybe it's not, but that's just my plan as of now. I'll get it set in here. I got to look up the torque specs again. It might just be good and tight. Um, <laughs> I don't know if there's a torque spec. I think maybe it was like 40 newton meters, maybe something like that. Uh, maybe way off, but. Um, yeah, I'll get them tight. I kind of know how tight they were from cracking them loose So I'll get them to that point and just let it seal so still a lot of work to go But I'm glad to be at this point. So thank you guys for going on the journey with me One other thing before I forget I forgot to show you guys the hardware uh, these are M6 by uh, 1.25 I think I can't remember um, But I did get Allen head there stainless steel so I figured it's not going to be an issue uh, using the correct ball sockets. I got locking washers and regular washers. I'll probably just use regular. That's what was on there. And then I also got um, a bolt, a hex head bolt and an Allen head bolt to replace kind of everything that we pulled out in the different spots. So 
I don't remember the exact length of all these, sorry, but thread pitch, they're all um, M6, so yeah. All right, guys, well, just when I thought I was in the clear, ready to start sealing this thing up, we hit a snafu. That port is not on the water pump I have here. It's blinked off. So, I guess I gotta go to the hardware store again and uh, find a bolt to fit into there and blank it off. Luckily, it's the same thread size as those, so I can still mount this in and then I can take one of those to the hardware store or take the whole water pump right here to the hardware store and test fit to uh, verify, but it's a bit annoying. I'll need to uh, put some like thread sealant and a nice washer on that spot to make sure it doesn't leak, but that's okay. At least it's super easy access, so I can uh, at least throw it in here for now. All right, guys, we got this thing gasketed up. I RTV'd all the uh, smooth surfaces. Probably don't need to up top. I just did it for good measure, it's not gonna hurt. Uh, the seal is in there, so I RTV'd kind of the crevice and then popped the seal in there. Just kind of smoothed it all around. So I'm right, gonna set you guys up on the tripod and try to set this thing in here. Yes? <laughs> As my son's trying to break into the garage. Hey! Hey, Dad! Yeah? I wonder why you are. I'm in the garage. The camera. Oh, hey, Dad. Hey, buddy. Oh, he was switching you. You came at the most stressful moment. Oh, come here, baby. It's all right. It's all right. We, hey, Dad, we doing a mock sled challenge on Ah, dang it. All right, come on, Bubba. Hey, Dad. Come on, You doing work. a monster truck challenge? Yeah. Oh, nice. Time. Let's let Dad work in there. Hey, Dad. Babe, I need your help. Perfect timing, guys. Yeah? We're doing a mod truck challenge outside. Mod truck challenge? Yeah, we're doing it outside. Nice, bro. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah. Baby, stay over here so where I can see you. Oh, I see you. Right This one is going to be tricky, no matter what. All right, life hack from my good friend Josh of Creative Steel. He just told me this trick today. Didn't think I was gonna need it, but turns out, I think it might help right now. Put a piece of paper towel, that's what he recommended to uh, get a better grip on the bolts. So he was suggesting it for getting them loose, but right now I don't wanna drop this thing so I'm going to use it to uh, try to get this down in here without dropping it. The trickiest part is the washer, to be honest. I don't want to drop the washer. Let's see if I can get this on here. Whew. Okay, now let's hope I can... <laughs> Get that socket out of there. Yes. All right. Piece of paper towel. Acquired. Oh my God, you guys. This is 
all those years of sports and basketball and finger dexterity are paying off. Okay, the last one is literally insane. The last one is gonna require true Yoda and Luke training, Jedi level, just trust. Let's see what happens. Okay guys, new setup for the last one. I actually put the regular Allen head back on here with the paper towel. The ball head is moving around too much at the last bit to make me comfortable. And then I got two non-swiveling or non, you know, wiggling, uh, wobbling extensions. So, oh, here goes nothing. This is scary. Yes. No. No. <laughs> what the heck? I thought I was on it. How was I not on it? What the heck? Holy crap. All right, I don't know if you guys just caught that. The memory card was full, so I had to delete a few things from previous. But I got it in. It was like, I had to get it in with the regular Allen because the wobbling you know, hex head was too wiggly so it wouldn't line up. It was too hard to get it lined up without dropping the washer. But then when it came time to actually try to you know, thread it in, it wouldn't go in because it needs to be at a bit of an angle with the ball head hex socket. So I had to get really lucky, pull off the regular Allen, and then keep it where it was, the bolt, and then put the ball head socket on it, and then twist it tight. So now it is hand tight, and I am just gonna go ahead and tighten them up now. Damn tight. Sheesh. Okay. Tighten these crisscross pattern. All right guys, we got the bottom left, top right tight. I'm gonna go for the bottom right and then the top left. All right guys, I don't think you caught all the end there, but it is on tight. Um, we went with good and tight. I'm not gonna bother with torque specking, something like that. Just try to make them all nice and tight and as even as I could. Uh, the last one, I had to do with the quarter inch, so trying to gauge the feel a little bit different on that one, but it should be okay. Uh, especially because those are kind of separated on the flanges. I don't think it should change like the angle of how it sits too much if they weren't, you know, exactly the same torque spec. So uh, I'm gonna let this sit overnight and I will catch you guys manana. All right, you guys, the next day, I got the water pump left kind of where we had it yesterday, obviously. Bolts are all tightened up today. I spent some time uh, kind of grabbing the other things we needed, some hardware, uh, and I had to find a plug that was gonna work for the extra outlet we found on the water pump housing. So let me show you what I got. These are half inch, I believe, uh, basically like MPT fittings or plumber fittings, which some, uh, Mercedes must use like some specific thread pattern that for all their coolant related stuff because this is the same situation we have with the ML63 when we were doing the thermostat housing. It's like not a thread pattern or thread pitch that I can find anywhere. I don't know what the actual thread pitch is. This is pretty close, like it threads in fine, but once you get it in a certain you know amount, it kind of like stops. So it's It'll get a good way in there, and what we're gonna do is basically seal it up just like we did with the ML63 with this kind of steel weld stuff from Permatex. 
Uh, so I'll mix up a little bit of that. I'll coat it nice and thick on whichever fitting I choose. I think I'm gonna go with the hex socket. We had three options right here. So I'm probably gonna go with this one. I'll you know fill this up pretty nicely and uh, get a little bit on the actual threads as well. Let it solidify. It takes about, uh, it's supposed to be quick dry, like 15 minutes or so, but I'll leave it for about an hour before we put any fluids in it. Once I get that sealed up, uh, we got our thermostat. We got the new O-ring for the uh, auxiliary pump tube. And then we have our housing right here ready to go. I was not able to find uh, new crush washers for the two sensors, but honestly, these are still in pretty good shape. So I'm not worried about reusing them. Uh, if anything, we can always replace those later on really easy. I did get some replacement hardware for um, the thermostat housing bolts, but I accidentally got them too short. So we're just gonna reuse in these stock ones, which should be fine. Not the prettiest, but oh well. Uh, and besides that, we'll get everything back situated, get the pulley back on there, get the belt back on obviously, get our fan, and we're pretty much good from there. We can uh, fill it up with fluid, so. Sorry, it's a little bit dark on camera, but yeah, that is what we're working with. Let's go ahead and get this job done. All right guys, that stuff's all mixed up. I'm gonna leave this out here so I can test when it's actually dry. Got that fitting in there. Let me get the light for you guys real quick. <clears throat> so that fitting is in there right there. Just kinda cranked it down to where I felt comfortable. And if you can see inside, see down in there, the gray spot in the back, that's where it's sitting, so. All right, let's go ahead and continue on. I think I can uh, start getting the hoses situated at least. I will leave the thermostat off until I'm happy with uh, how that's cured so it's got some air on it, but yeah, get the coolant hoses back on, get our uh, fitting down there on the left side of the water pump for the auxiliary line and yeah just chug away at this okay guys pulley is on i uh, put a little bit of blue lock sight on each one of the bolts and basically held it with the spare belt that i have kind of gripped it nice and tight and then just put the longest 3 8 ratchet i have and just crank them down as good as i could once the belt is on there and it's tensioned i'll uh, try to feel them out again see how they are but they should be good i got them pretty tight and with the lock tie they shouldn't really budge so uh, let's do that line and then get going with the next stuff. Okay, that line O-ring is on. I put a little bit of RTV on it more so just for like lubricant purposes because this is a pretty fat O-ring. So it might be a little bit of a struggle to get on here, but fingers crossed. All right guys, the auxiliary coolant line is on. I decided to make an executive decision. I'm not even gonna bother with the bolt that goes right here. I mean, this thing does not move. I have no idea why you would need that. Um, it's not like holding it in place at all. So it's plenty good where it is. Uh, I'm gonna save myself a headache if I ever need to take that off again. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, route the belt now. Then I will get the coolant lines on and then the fans and Got to do the sensor still, the thermostat housing, um, but we are getting close. If you guys need it again, there's the belt diagram. It's going uh, around the alternator, idler pulley, around the water pump, around the power steering, uh, around the AC compressor, around the crank. Then smooth side goes around the tensioner and around the fan, then back down to the alternator. So let's get it lined up. Next up, I'm gonna do our sensors. These are pretty straightforward. Uh, I don't have the new washers, like I said, but I don't think it'll be too big of a deal. Um, I thought about using some thread sealant on these, but I cannot find where I put my thread sealant, so I have to just use what we got here. Uh, 
wash her crush a little bit, so that should be good. All right, and there is a sequence, I would say, because if you do this one first, you're not gonna be able to tighten the back one. So do the back one first. That's the bigger one of the two. All right, should be good. All right, for the thermostat, I am using the O-ring they provided, uh, or O-ring seal, whatever you wanna call it. And then the check valve, when I took it out, uh, was closest to the front of the car, so I'm gonna position it in the same spot and uh, fits in there nice and snug. So I'll go ahead and uh, tighten things up. All right, here goes nothing. This was a tight squeeze getting out of here, so it's gonna be a tight squeeze getting it back in. The fan is in. Now the tough part of getting the Allen bolts in. Not gonna be fun. All right guys, the fan shroud is about to go on. That means, fingers crossed, we got everything buttoned up. I'm not gonna lie, I've been like singing Adele songs in my head right now, just trying to get through this. This has been painful, man. This, is a <laughs> this has made me a whole new level of mechanic right here, uh, working on this job. But we're nearing the end. Like I said, uh, I'm excited. Last few steps, let's go. Things, make sure the front piece is facing the right way and uh, put that in first. And you kind of just set that behind the fan and then snake your other piece in. Get these clips off of here since they'll be coming off. All right guys, fan shroud is in. Uh, key things when you're putting the fan shroud back, there are two slots that the bigger square piece fits into down below to keep it level uh, at the bottom or you know tucked in at the bottom. And then there are four of those little prongs for the sliding circular piece. So make sure you get all of those lined up uh, where it's supposed to be and should be good to go. This thing, I believe, had a crack in it. Yeah, it does. So let me see if I can... Should have enough wiggle room. I'm gonna snip off the end of it and then we'll still have enough meat on it. All right, guys, snipped just about, probably quarter of an inch off, half an inch maybe, um, but still, Plenty of room to keep some slack in it. And the good thing is we got the creative steel motor mount. So this motor is not going to move around hardly at all. So yeah, that wouldn't have changed anything anyways, but definitely won't 
now. Okay. Are we done? Is that actually it? Let's fill this thing up. Hopefully I got enough coolant. I can't believe this. I, <laughs> this has been a long project. Whew. Okay, let's double check everything and then I'm gonna fill it up. All right, I think we are ready to fill this thing up. Can't even believe this right now. Okay, all of everything is tight, hoses are tight. This should be plenty dry by now. Yeah, that is totally solid. All right, guys. Whew. Everything that I unplug, oh, throttle body. Definitely want to plug that back in. Alright guys, one jug down. I don't know what the cooling capacity is on the M104, but uh, it's more than one jug, I promise. I'll have to look up. The bleeding procedure. All right guys, we are as bled as we can be without uh, starting the car, I think. Uh, just, you know, squeezing the hoses, getting it to bleed, and it did quite a bit actually. So I'm sure once it starts up, it'll uh, cycle the rest of it through. Still got about a half jug uh, on the second one, maybe a little less, so we'll see what it does, but I think we are ready to fire it up. So fingers crossed. All right guys, dark outside. I don't know if I'll go for a ride after all this, but let's at least Get this thing bled. She fired right up, good news. Let's get this thing bled. All right guys, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm still hearing a squeak, which is not the best thing to hear. Um, I'm gonna lower it down because I'm having a feeling maybe it's having trouble bleeding itself, being uh, lifted up like this. I don't know for sure, but I'm gonna lower it down. I don't see any leaks, so we should be good to lower it down anyways. Uh, then I'll start it back up and see if I can get it to bleed all the way. Um, not really sure right now. Okay guys, take two. It's still on the wood blocks, but I'll back it up once I start it up. Got the ML63 out of the way so I can back it out and take it on a drive if need to. Alright guys, the noise is dissipated. It seems like it's getting up to temp. I'm gonna go ahead and take it for a cruise. I'll meet you guys back here in a second. Alright guys, we are back. The noise has dissipated completely. I will have to update you guys, I guess, once I start it again when it's cold. 
this video will probably be out before I have a chance to do so, but yeah, just drove it. It stayed at operating temp the whole time. I'm gonna let it sit here right now and see if I can get the uh, fans to kick on, just confirm, but battery's about to die on the camera. This kind of wraps up the job, so I guess I will go ahead and end it there. Hopefully this has helped you guys, the last two videos, this one included. This is a big learning process for me, admittedly, um, but I'm proud of myself for getting it done and all by myself. A lot of times, like the bigger projects, I'll have Mike around to help me, which I'm very grateful for, but this one I wanted to try to tackle alone and we got it done. So that is it. Uh, I think we're gonna call it there. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I will update you guys soon with how it's doing and uh, get back to the fun stuff with this car. Till then, see you guys on the next one. Peace.